Hola. Our class today is about los usos de C. Si. Remember when you learned reflexive verbs like despertarse, acordarse, and you had to use the reflexive pronoun C? Si? Well, now you're going to see that that C si can also be used for different purposes. We are going to see three different ways to use C. Si. El C si pasivo which is used to place emphasis on the action itself rather than on the person who performs the action. El se impersonal, which is used in sentences in which the performer of the action is not specified or is unimportant to the meaning of the sentence. And el se accidental, which is used with certain verbs to indicate unplanned or unexpected events. We are going to see each one in detail. Let's start with el se pasivo. Before we understand el se pasivo, it's a good idea to review or to understand the passive voice. Spanish and English both have active and passive voices. In an active voice construction, the subject of the sentence is the doer of the action. For example, Oscar Arias fundó el Centro para la Paz. So he is the one who performed the action. Los dos bandos hicieron la guerra. In the passive voice, the agent of the action can be expressed in a prepositional phrase most often introduced by por. For example, el Centro para la Paz fue fundado por Oscar Arias. La guerra fue hecha por los dos bandos. Okay, now we are ready for the passive C. Spanish speakers use a passive construction to place emphasis on the action itself rather than on the person who performs the action. The passive C therefore is used when the performer of the action is either unknown or not central to the meaning of the sentence. For example, se cerró la fundación. So it doesn't matter who closed it, but the fact that the foundation was closed, that's what it's important, the action itself. Se abrieron los centros. Again, who cares who opened the centers? Nobody. We don't know or nobody cares. The most important here is that the centers were opened. One important thing you need to observe is that the object of the sentence for sentence number one, la fundación, is singular. So you're going to agree, the verb will agree with the noun here. And since los centros is plural, you're going to put your verb in the plural form, so they agree. Notice that you can have two different formulas. You can have se, third person singular or plural verb plus noun. But you could also have noun, se, and third person singular plural verb. I could say la fundación, having the noun first, se cerró. O los centros se abrieron. The next use of se is what we call el se impersonal. Like the passive se, the impersonal se is used in sentences in which the performer of the action is not specified or is unimportant to the meaning of the sentence. But here, only the third person singular form of the verb is used. Let's see some examples. En esta zona se escala mucho. Se puede entretener a los niños con videojuegos. Finally, we have what we call el se accidental. The passive construction with se is also used with certain verbs to indicate unplanned or unexpected events. In these constructions, the accidental se communicates a lesser degree of responsibility on behalf of the person implicated in the action. For example, in the sentence, se me cayó el libro, the accidental se assumes that the object, in this case the book, is responsible for the action. Thus, the English translation is actually, 
the book fell out of my hands instead of I dropped the book. Okay. So because I couldn't prevent, because it was an accident, I'm going to use the se accidental to show that I did not do it on purpose. Other examples. Se les olvidó la hora de la carrera. Se le olvidaron las llaves en el coche. Now, look at the agreement here. Although I'm saying they forgot, I need to use se les olvidó because I need to agree with la hora. Se le olvidaron because I need to agree with las llaves. Sentences with accidental se frequently begin with an a plus noun or a plus prepositional pronoun to emphasize or to clarify the person to whom the unplanned event occurred. So that's why we say, if I want to be specific, instead of saying, se le quedaron los boletos en su coche, if I just say, se le quedaron los boletos en su coche, you don't know about whom I'm talking about. But if I say, a Pedro, then I'm more specific. Remember, we did that with verbs like gustar. Same, same concept. Now, only certain verbs can be used in accidental se constructions. Acabar, caer, descomponer, olvidar, perder, quedar y romper. Well, I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. And make sure you review this video if necessary. Gracias.